Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my What's in the Box series, and today we're going to open a game that I've waited for over two years to get. Okay, down in the comments below, tell me before watching the rest of this video, how long would you wait for a game? More specifically, how long would you wait for a game that you pre-ordered and paid 100% of the money ahead of time for? Two months, three months, six months? Well, guys, I waited for a game for over two years. That's right, two whole years. And I was worried. The card that I paid for the game with, I didn't have it anymore. It was gone, it expired, I got a new one. The, uh, the email account, thankfully I still had that. But I even considered moving houses within that two year period. How was a guy going to get my game? I'm not so sure they would have actually let me forward or change the mailing address. So yeah, two whole years to wait for this game. And uh, let's get to unboxing it. Yep, this is the box. And nope, I am not a professional box opener. But we'll get in here all the same, even if I have to be so not, not so gentle about it. And there it is. Let's free it from its bubble wrap prison. So we get a strictly limited sticker. A Ray's Chronology very nice postcard. I don't think I'd ever send this in the mail to anyone. Then, finally, the game. See if I can get some shots without the glare. There we go. It's got a silver pull tab. I'm not so sure you guys can see that, but it's right there. Actually, if I put some glare on it, you'll see it. Yeah. That's very interesting. I guess this is to set it apart from others. Um, it just says PlayStation in silver lettering all the way across. So far, so good. And uh, we're not going to let this thing stay in its prison. Let's pop that right there, which is my favorite place to hit for opening a game. And cut down a little. Let's get all of this folded seal wrapper off. Now, did the game come loose during transportation? No, it did not. I'm very happy about that. Comes with a manual, which I will eventually get out. No reversible cover, but a nice full color manual. Oh, and the different spaceships. A little bit of nice artwork on the back of the different games that are included. Let's see if we can get you a better shot without reflecting the ceiling of my game room, but or player two room. And here's the disc.
It's uh, not an ESRB one, but you know what? This is what I've got. And while well, I'll have to say I'm very, very happy with how everything looks, it take a minute to get here. And just to show everybody at home what you get one more time. There it is. That's right, folks. I finally got the Rays game, specifically Rays Arcade Chronology. I've been a fan of the Rays series since PlayStation 1, and I picked it up on the Saturn, and I've got a couple of other copies of this. But once I saw this coming out, I knew I had to have it. And I'm pretty happy with getting it for however long it took to get to me. Now, I ordered this game in August, on August 3rd of 2022. It showed up on my doorstep August 24th of 2024. Would have been nicer if it had shown up on August 23rd but maybe only a few people get that joke. I love shmups. I do. I absolutely love them. I have a blast playing them. Uh, I have great memories of Life Force and Einhander and Radiant Silver Gun and just um, and uh, Air Busters slash Aereo Blasters. I love shmups. And this was one of the ones that I remembered fondly. Am I good at shmups? Well... No. But I'm trying to practice. There's a PlayStation 4 game that I cannot pronounce the title, but I'll probably flash it up on the screen that I'm using to get better. Um, I've gotten some tips from RNG Gamer, and I've watched a couple of Shmup Junkies videos just to try to get myself in a higher tier of play. Now, here's the thing. Was waiting two years for this game to come out worth it? Oh, uh, by the way, it is release number 71 and I have number 703 out of 2,000. Because they're only allowed to make 2,000 of these. But again, let's get back to it. Was this game worth the wait? Well, you're about to see some gameplay, probably mine that I'm recording, and I'll get back to you on that.
August 4, 2219, Albion Beach, Enter Battle Zone at 3000 feet. Drop to 500 feet. And we're back. So you got to see me play a little bit of Ray Force, uh, Ray Storm, Ray Crisis, and our gear. Now, Ray Force, definitely really good. Um, 
The Ray Storm was really good. The HD version was also very, very nice. The Ray Crisis, I definitely liked that as well. Although it felt like in the HD version, the second ship that has the lasers has a little bit of an annoying sound for the lasers that are constantly going on. I'm going to look in and see if there's like a sound setting later just to kind of take that constant high pitch whine out of it. And the bonus game, Our Gear, which for all intents and purposes, honestly looks like a prequel game. Now, I haven't really read much into it. Uh, I do need to go and research this more. I did basically blind buy this because it's a Ray game. Um, and they were brought over by Spaz, I believe. So that's a working designs thing. So, I mean, come on guys, you know, you know that, that this was just going to happen and that I didn't really have a choice. How could I have a choice? Now, was this game worth what I paid? I paid about 50 bucks and that's with the shipping and everything else. And I got to have some like neat things with it, like the, you know, the postcard and I get another strictly limited uh, sticker and stuff, uh, which I'll probably, if I don't have one on my fridge already, I will probably make it um, one of my refrigerator magnets. And of course I got the game with a bonus game. It, was it worth the money? Yes. Was it worth waiting two years? No, I don't think any game's really worth waiting two years for it. I realized that Strictly Limited had gone through and they had over-promised and under-delivered, which is a bad business model. They bit off a lot more than they could chew and they had to select games based on sales and stuff based on which one was going to come out first. And I get that. But watching games that had been pre-ordered after the Ray's Arcade Chronology get physical releases before my Ray's Arcade Chronology felt a little bad. It felt like being a little kid in kindergarten and you know, being in line and stuff, and suddenly the kid at the back of the line gets to go ahead of you. Yes, I love the game. I don't regret buying it. Now that it's out, if you can get your hands on a copy, I would suggest getting one and playing it. Did I pick it up physically just because I'm a physical collector? Yeah. Did I pick the game up just because I'm a Rays fan and I love shmups even though I'm still bad at them? Yeah. Did I get kind of sucked into the FOMO a little bit? Yeah. And did I get suckered in also because I'm a working designs fan and this is kind of a tip of the hat back to working designs? Absolutely. So those are the reasons why I purchased it and why I waited the two years or over two years. Tell me, would you wait more than two years for this game? And that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and I look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.